Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Margaret and welcome to Purple Frog. Welcome to my first entry into a manga diary series, which is a new series that I am starting. In this series, I'm going to be doing a various assortment of things. It's going to be a compilation of clips of me unboxing manga, merchandise, figures, anime logs, reading logs, like you name it. All manga and anime related things will be probably in this series. So yeah, this was going to be a bit of a longer video than usual, so I will have a lot of timestamps down in the description box if you guys want to skip around throughout the video and watch for certain parts. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into the video. As you can tell, we have a giant package full of what I believe is an anime, anime figures and some merchandise. So without further ado, let's get this open and see what's all in here. First package, we have, ooh, I think these are some can badges. I I love this wash tape, it's adorable. These sellers um, in Japan always have the best, um, best packaging. Oh, by the way, this is all from uh, Mercari Japan, unless I specify otherwise. Um, and I used Bai as my proxy service to purchase them for me. Okay, so we got some can badges. Like, look how well protected this all is. Okay, so I'm very excited. Um, it looks like these are Reizwa Tanengai can badges. Um, if you guys do not know, I love Reizwa Tanengai. I'm so excited for the English printing. Um, let's see. Ooh, okay, so we have this can badge with the main couple on it. So cute. And then we have set this right here and then and here is this can badge is the main reason why i even bought this like little lot it's because i really wanted this can badge for my eda bag and <laughs> look how beautiful it is oh my goodness i am in awe this is gonna look so good for my eda bag like wow okay so this is the first envelope Move on to the next one. Let's see. I'm so bad at opening these. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, this this keychain has a story behind it. This has been on my want list of kind of merchandise and memorabilia that I've wanted for ages. Um, it is Kodocha merchandise. And Kurocha is a pretty hard series to find merchandise for, especially these days. Um, and so I saw this on Mercari uh, in here in the US uh, like a year or two ago, and it was going for like $35, and I was considering getting it, but I ended up uh, missing out on it. But then the other day when I was on Thai, I was scrolling through the Kurocha section and I found this keychain, my dream keychain, new with tags for only $5. Oh my goodness, look, we have Akito and Yosana. Oh, it's a gorgeous keychain. Oh wow, okay, I love this so much. It is so cute. Ah! Okay, it's really crazy that I have that. Yeah, I love Kurocha so much. As you guys can tell, there's a the manga. The next one here is pretty heavy. I've really kind of forgotten what I've ordered since it's been a while, but let's see what's inside this one. Okay, this is really, oh wow. Inside we have this Play It Cool Guys art book. When I was at Kinokuni recently, you guys uh, told me what the series was since I loved the art. And since then, I picked up the manga and I also got the art book. This was, I believe, 900 yen is how much I paid for it, which is pretty good. Since it originally retails for uh, 1,200. So yeah, I'm really excited to check this out. Um, Y'all put in some B-roll maybe. Wow, just the art is gorgeous. I'm so excited. I love art books. 
Moving on to the next bag here. I know it's been so long since I've ordered this, I've kind of forgotten what I've bought. Oh, there's multiple parts. What did I? Oh, Given. Oh, this is cool. Oh, okay, so we have Given stuff. I love Given. We have this Mafu You Can badge, which I will probably sell if y'all are interested. I always have my Mercari in the description box. Oh, wow, okay, I'm really excited for these two. These are, like, ah, I'm so excited. Okay, so what we have here is a Mafuyu and an Uyunoyama verse drops. Uh, they look so cute, they're adorable. Ah, I'm dying, they're so cute. They are gonna look so cute on my shelf next to my given manga. And then here's the last can badge, and this one's really cool. I have Mafuyu, like look how beautiful this art is. I'm totally gonna display this because it looks amazing. Moving on to the next bag. This one got a little bit crumpled, but let's see what it is. Oh, wow. Okay, another recent obsession of mine is A Sign of Affection. Love the series, the manga is amazing. If you guys ever ask me for recommendations, more than likely one of the series for romance, I'll always bring up as a sign of affection because I just love it so much. Um, and so I found some merchandise on there. So of course I had to get them. Uh, I have, I found these two acrylic cards. I don't really have any acrylic cards at all. And like this art is so beautiful. Like how could I not, ah, uh, they're adorable. And then what also came in the lot is it two can badges? Yes, okay, it was two can badges. Oh wow, these can badges are gorgeous. Ah! These are gonna look amazing. I should get another Eda bag to make a sign of affection Eda bag. So yeah, that's what it was in that one. Amazing, love it. So good. Moving on to the next bag, which is also a little bit crumpled. I really, I'm just curious. This is like Christmas, because I honestly have no idea what's in these. Um, oh, we have some MXTX stuff. Ooh, this is always exciting. I've been wanting to get some more MXTX merchandise. And when I saw this artwork on this giant shikishi board, and it looks like a can badge, like how could I not? Now it's time to move on to the really fun part, which is the figures. Starting off with the smallest figure. Raw, let me see if I can fish him out of here. Here is the smallest figure here. Um, this I ordered this from Yahoo Sh Japan Shopping, um, and it was my first time using their services, because uh, normally I just use Mercari, but uh, I was really curious because I found a figure I've been wanting for a really good price on there. So of course I had to pick him up. You guys probably know who he is because I have mentioned him that I have been, that I ordered him and that he's coming in a couple of videos. Okay, let's see. <gasps> Yay! It is the Fujiwara no Sai Hikaru no Go uh, Nendoroid. Oh my goodness, he is precious. <laughs> If you guys do not know, I am like the biggest fan of Hikaru no Go. Um, I already have Hikaru's Nendoroid. Of course I need Sai's Nendoroid. I have all the manga. I have so much merchandise. I have a whole shelf dedicated to all the merchandise. I am so excited to have this. Like, look at them. They are adorable. I will probably display them in this pose or in this one. But yeah, I'm so excited to add him to my collection. Okay, moving on to the largest figure. I'm gonna clear this out so I can have a place to set it since I cannot hold it like I did with that Nendroid. Okay, so after like 10 minutes of trying to get that stupid packaging or bubble wrap off, great job to the seller that was solo packaged. 
but it is this Katarina Clay's uh, scale figure, one seventh scale by Furyu. I am so excited. I love Katarina so much. She is just kind of, she is so beautiful. I hope they make the other characters since the base. Um, it's like this like little stone and I think uh, the other characters could maybe connect into that like maybe Because uh, while well, my bank account would suffer um, I would be very happy to have like a whole squad Specifically Mary. I love Mary so much. She is like my favorite character besides Katarina, of course Because um, Mary's just the best <laughs> Yeah, who's your guys' favorite? Um, like look at her she is stunning oh wow oh my god i love katarina so much like look at her face her hair is just amazingly shaded but like she is just so well done like oh my goodness y'all need to get this figure it's worth it even if you don't like the base like me like she is just too beautiful not to get I just received this package from a Korean proxy service. This is my first time using a Korean proxy service. I'm very excited. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm really excited. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I will get everything out of the package first. Let's move it over here so we don't have to deal with this box. I will say they packaged this quite well. I am so excited. This is a uh, Grail series for me. I didn't even know that this was available for me to get. I have been looking for like, this is like the first series that I ever read. So these are absolutely massive, much bigger than what I was expecting. I'm just in utter disbelief and shock that I can actually like have this series. Do I know how to read Korean? Absolutely not. But I mean, just having them alone is just worth it in my books. Moving on, let's see what else I got in this package. Okay, we have Payback Volume 2. Um, I believe this is a first edition. Um, we'll look into it in more depth in just a minute. Let's see what is in here. Oh my goodness, uh, I'm so excited. Okay, this was a proxy service. Uh, this, oh my goodness. Ah, I'm so excited. Ah, my cat has the bubble wrap. I have to hide the bubble wrap from her. <laughs> okay, so I forgot to mention, but the site that I used to buy those from, uh, these are from uh, Bunjang, I believe is how you pronounce it, and these I got from a shop that is called Jamie's Shop. Uh, I am so excited. I have Payback Volumes 1 and 2 here. These are the first editions, which means that they come with the photo cards! Oh my god, like, look at them! Okay, I love Payback. It is such a great manhwa, especially, like, it's just the art is amazing. The story is so unique, in my opinion, and I just, I love the main characters so much, and I also just, like, love the, uh, the other male lead. They're just, they're just so great, and I'm just so excited to have the physicals. Um, even though they're in Korean. I hope we get to an English release at some point. That would be amazing. Um, yes, I forgot to mention. So volume one, this is the photo card it came with. And volume two, this is the photo card it came with, clearly, since it matches the cover. And the last thing that I got in this package was also from Jamie Shop. And this is something that is just as exciting. Uh, it's from a series that I love just as much as I love Payback. But sadly, there is not nearly as much merchandise for this uh, series. Ah, these are so nice. Oh my God, these are so cute. So if you guys um, know this series, you guys probably can guess what I got already. Um, if you probably know this merchandise, I got the uh, Shutline um, driver's licenses. I know this sounds stupid, buying some fake driver's license of fictional characters, but I just love this series so much. I love anything Yakuza and Mafia. So uh, when I found out there was merchandise, even though it's paper, I paper and a fake ID card, I just had to grab it. So we have um, we have uh, machine gun here, and then here we have Jake, who is my favorite. I just he's such a well-written character in my opinion. Ah! Oh my god, I'm so excited to have this in my collection. This looks like absolutely beautiful these are very tiny though like very tiny so yeah i'm really excited with everything i got today it's just so exciting 
Okay everyone, so I plan on putting the Boy of the Female Wolf manga on this shelf with my Visara and my Dr. Stone, but as you guys can tell, there's like not enough room like at all, so I'm gonna have to get creative here, so let's just start brainstorming. Okay, so after um, around 10 more minutes of futzing with my shelves, I'm happy with this setup. Um, I've decided that I have to move Kotaro Lives Alone to a, another shelf. But now it is time to do the fun part, which is accessorize with like various acrylic keychains and whatnot. So I have my box of acrylic keychains and then below this I have my box of buttons. So um, now I get to sort through and decide what I want to go onto the shelf. Okay, so instead of these two uh, Tsugasa buttons, which are going to go into retirement, because I think this is just a little too dark for my tastes in terms of how I want the shelf to be like a lighter uh, color scheme, so I'm gonna go with these two. Even though they're not um, Dr. Stone and they're Jujutsu Kaisen, um, I'm just gonna put them here anyways because I'm. Okay, and then I also decided that over here, instead of having that keychain, I'm going to open up yet another thing, um, and that is this Sign of Affection acrylic card. I think it just looks so beautiful next to this uh, manha, so let's get this open here. I believe this is from a uh, Kuji, or a Kuji that was there. How cute! Ah, gorgeous! Okay, I need to find another coin stand. My cat has claimed a keychain and says it is hers. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. I may add something there later on, but for right now, I'm really loving how this is looking. I think it is a pretty good job of kind of everything on the shelf going together. Yeah? Yeah? Cool. Okay, everyone, so I just received this package from Easy Press. Um, the wonderful people over at Easy Press sent this to me, and this, if you guys could not tell, Easy Press is um, Yen Press's new imprint uh, that is dedicated to Korean content, specifically manhwa, so I'm very excited, so let's get this open! Okay, so I just cut it open, so let's see what's inside! Oh my goodness! Okay, so first thing I'm seeing here is this Easy Press like little card here that basically just talks about what Easy Press is. Then I see some prints of some of the future series to come uh, that is done by Easy Press uh, and a little description on what they are about. If you guys do not know, I'm a giant fan of manhwa and I have read so many series, so let's see what series that they're going to be publishing soon. The first series I see here is Tomb Raider King, which is a great series, very similar to uh, Soul Leveling. If you guys enjoyed that series, you guys should be definitely looking forward to this series. Next we have Villain and Villains Are Destined to Die, which is like my all-time favorite manhwa for like romance. If you love isekai, romance, a strong heroine, like literally this is it for you. Like the artwork is gorgeous, the story is amazing, just overall 10 out of 10. Next here we have uh, The World After the Fall. I believe this is done by the same mangaka 
that did solo love no omnipotent readers i believe okay don't quote me on this i've not read this series but this looks like a really interesting series and the art style is very very beautiful then we have the remarried empress another amazing one if you guys love a strong female lead this is like the one to get i mean like literally she is amazing so yeah the next thing i see here is this easy press sticker we have a business card and then a easy press notepad so cool then the next thing i see here is this easy press lanyard as you guys can tell it has a jump ring and here is the lanyard it just says easy press in this really beautiful blue the next thing i see in here is a keychain oh it's a keychain for tomb raider king which is the uh series that is going to be coming out soon as you guys know by i just told you guys so cute i love this keychain it's adorable now onto the main focus of this package which is clearly this volume of manga and that is villains are destined to die volume one as you guys know by how i just said I am so beyond excited and just an utter disbelief that this actually has a physical copy. I am just such a big, big fan of the manhwa and like, I'm just, ah, I cannot believe it. As you guys can tell, the art is absolutely stunning. Like literally some of the best, if not the best art that I have ever seen in terms of manhwa and manga. We have the spine here, which is this really nice pink color. And then we have the back, which just has like these heart gems. And this is rated teen in case anyone was wondering. And here is the spine with the Easy Press logo. The last thing in this package is what I believe is a tote bag. Oh yes, it is this really nice Easy Press tote bag. Oh yes, I forgot to mention, I believe this comes out November 8th for anyone who is interested in picking up this series, of which I highly do. Like this is this is peak romance manga, okay? Or manhwa. It is just chef's kiss, beautiful. A quick thank you to the wonderful people at Easy Press for sending me this really awesome box full of, well, amazing goodies and most important, Villains Are Destined to Die Volume 1. Okay, everyone, so next up is this absolute unit of an Amiyami package. Believe it or not, there is only one figure in here. Shipping alone is like $100, so I'm so excited to get this figure open. This is a highly anticipated figure for me, so without further ado, let's just get this open. I'm so excited. Don't mind my cat, but starting off, here is the Ami Ami thing for the month. And oh, they're like little bunny girls. Okay, this is really cute. Love the bunny girls. Excited to add this to my Ami Ami collection of like little poster things. Okay. Oh my, like, I just, I'm so surprised still that this is so big. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting this to be this big. Okay, guys, are you guys ready? Oh my god, where am I going to put this box? Okay, my cat is attacking the packaging, but where am I going to put this box? Oh my goodness. My cat is in love with this stuff, so excuse her. Okay, where was I? Yeah, so as you guys can tell, this is the Good Smile Company collab uh, with Billy Billy for the uh, TGCF, uh, Heaven's Official Blessing, GLM figure. Oh my god, he's so pretty. Okay, let's see if I can get him out of this box. Like, is this even possible? I don't know. Oh, oh my god, this is... Okay, moving this unit aside. Okay, so... Here is the figure, so let's get it open. Okay, I just 
just finished assembling him i'm literally at a loss for words like he is just like the most like ethereal angelic figure i have ever seen in my life like look at his sculpt this is literally insane like go buy this figure if you guys only can get one scale figure like this is the one okay hello everyone so i just got in this package from jeremy i have a p.o box if you guys were wondering it's always in the link in the description box um in all of my videos <laughs> and it is just like literally the highlight of my day whenever i get something so here is my p.o box in case anyone was wondering Okay, so I just got it open. First we have the note here. Ooh, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Ah. Oh my gosh. Ah. If you guys did not know, I had a shopping uh, video and this was a series that really intrigued me oh my goodness and it, you said it was the loot crate exclusive oh my goodness thank you so much i am so excited to get into the series since this looked like a really cool action series so yeah thank you so much jeremy okay everyone so i ended up redoing all of my shelves so i will just run through them really quick and show you guys what i did Starting off here, we have this adorable Haikyuu shelf. This is basically just all Haikyuu volumes 1 to 45 complete with some extra volumes and just some really cute merchandise like this Bogoto keychain, which I think is my favorite piece of merchandise on the shelf. Moving down, we have this shelf that has Dr. Stone. You guys saw me arrange this shelf. Some keychains. We have Basara and Boy of the Female Wolf with this really cute Shinobu button on top. That is new. I absolutely love this. It is just so adorable. Moving down, we have my sports shelf. We have Hikaru no Go, um, volumes 1 to 23 complete. On top of that here, I also have my two Hikaru no Go androids. My cat actually knocked off Hikaru's Go board, so I don't know where that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I also have some random volumes of Prince of Tennis and Ice Shield 21, along with a whole bunch of Hikaru no Go merchandise, like a whole bunch of buttons, minifigures, and a whole bunch of acrylic stands. Then we have my kind of dark seinen series, question mark. We have Hell's Paradise complete, I have a Yuji plush here and a Hell's Paradise keychain. I have Chainsaw Man 1 to 11 complete with my Quan Chi keychain, she's my favorite so I'm so excited that I have this. And then I'm also up to date on Chainsaw Man volumes 0 through 17. I also have the fan book and my Yuji Shrine. The last shelf on this bookcase contains almost all of GTO. I only need like three or four more volumes and then I think like a third of Initial D. I want to collect the entirety of the series but you know slow but surely um, with my warped Initial D volumes. <laughs> Moving on to this shelf here. I have almost all of Banana Fish. I'm missing volumes 16, 13, and 14, and then I will have it complete. We have some acrylic stands up here. Yu Hakusho volume one with this keychain I got off of Etsy and this Jin acrylic stand that I absolutely adore. Some random volumes of Hunter x Hunter. I love this cover. Look how gorgeous it is. A Meruem and Komuki Ken badge, as well as this Leorio sitting figure. I also have Spy Family volumes 1 to 8, uh, which is up to date, and a little Lloyd keychain. The next shelf, we have my LGBTQ shelf. Um, we have the first two volumes of Payback that you guys saw me get in this video, as well as their photo cards that I absolutely adore. We have some more of my oversized manga. We have some really cute rubber straps and cards from like On or Off, this Love Jinx uh, sh uh, Shishiki board, um, can badges, and this Yakuza fiance. And this Yakuza fiance acrylic stand that I literally am in love with. Here is my shoujo and other shelf. I just have a whole bunch of random shoujo beat titles and other series like The Apothecary Diaries and My Next Life as a Villainess. Um, I also have volumes 1, 2, 6 of Kodocha. I only need 4 more volumes until I have it complete. Some Food Wars, Blue Period, and just some more series. I really like all of the merchandise that I put on this shelf. I have the two cheeky brad acrylic stands that are out, a Sign of Affection can badge, a Rizal Tanagai uh, can badge, and two Kodocha merchandise, like an acrylic stand and a keychain. 
This shelf has all of my Tokyo Revengers stuff on it, so all of my Japanese manga and the first volume that I have, as well as the Shikishi board that came with it, uh, the purchase of the first volume at Kinokuniya. I have the TV guide book and the fan book, and here are some acrylic stands I put up here, as well as these acrylic stands and my two plushies. I have this Joker acrylic stand that goes with my Fire Force manga, and then we have my Bleach manga with this Ichigo acrylic stand. Down here we have Kaiju number 8, volumes 1 to 4 complete, Kotaro Lives Alone, Mao, uh, the series you guys saw me just open, and some other series. I try my best not to put merchandise down here on the bottom shelves because I will kick them over, somebody will step on them, my cat will take them and eat them, etc. Thank you everyone so much for watching this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video and the style. If you did, don't forget to comment, rate, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.